Okay, so it's been 125 days since I did an update to my KDE Plasma build. So I figured it was about time to update it, especially as we've had a pretty major update to Raspberry Pi OS, quite a lot of changes, and I wasn't sure if some of the things would have broken it. So this is the new version. It's available to download now, link in the description. And let's go through some of the changes that I've made. So I always put some information in documents, which is here, about all the things that are installed and a few really basic ones. So the default search engine on Chromium is Google. I did try and stick with DuckDuckGo, but it doesn't give me as good a result. So, you know, I tend to find that Google is a really good search engine for me. But obviously, if you don't like it, you can always change it back. I put some bits in about Compute Module 4 because uh, if you want to write an image to a Compute Module 4, it's different to any other Raspberry Pi. You have to install USB boot. So what I've done is I've installed that and all you have to do is copy these two lines and open a terminal and paste that in. And if your Compute Module 4 is connected via USB, and boot is selected and it's different on all the different carrier boards uh, but basically it will show up there once it shows up you can then use Raspberry Pi Imager and you can write whichever image you want to your compute module for so software that I've installed uh, if we close this down if I press the Windows key and type in pzip I've added this because I definitely had a lot of success with pzip extracting, especially that big 512 gig RetroPi build that I reviewed recently. Yeah, I found that it's a really solid tool for unzipping things. I also have removed transmission, uh, which was the torrent downloader, and I've gone for qubit torrent. So if you type in qubit, you can see qubit torrent comes up. There's two methods of, of launching apps and I've just used both. So you press the Windows key and start typing or you can just start typing on an empty desktop and as you can see it comes out if I press enter then that will launch it and uh, obviously if you agree to it it will open up. One of the really cool things uh, updated on this build and this is thanks to Kinetic Egg for sending me this is the splash screen. So if we start typing theme you can see global theme comes up. And this is the way you can heavily customize KDE Plasma so you can download your own themes and everything else. But the only thing I've changed really is the splash screen. And you can see here, Lee PSP DVD splash. So when the operating system launches, this will run. You can switch back to Lightning if you don't want this logo to be on your operating system and you would just click on that and hit apply. But for the moment, this is what it's set up to and I love it. It's really cool. Unfortunately, because the Pi is so fast, it actually shows up very momentarily and then it goes away. But I'm happy enough with that. I'm not going to add in any delays or anything uh, to make it show for longer because obviously we want to get in and use the operating system as quick as possible. The wallpaper is created with Copilot. Anybody knows I'm obsessed with Copilot at the moment. I did a separate video. I don't know if this will find it. Yeah, this one here, creating free AI images with Microsoft Copilot. It is brilliant. And I've actually included quite a lot of images on here. So if you don't want them, just delete them. Obviously, if you want something a bit more standard, you can change that back. I've added the little KDE Plasma logo down here. And I've also added a little raspberry, uh, which I've tried to match to the colors so it doesn't stand out too much. But if you go into the pictures folder, you'll see that I've got a folder full of AI wallpaper. And I've also put this one in, Europe from Space. Uh, a lot of people asked about it because I use it on my uh, VNC build for remote desktop access. And, and it just reminds me which, which Pi I'm using. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a really cool image, so I'll put that in there. Uh, and the AI wallpaper, well, if we go back to... Uh, actually, no, if we go back to the desktop, right-click and do Configure Desktop and Wallpaper, if you want to change it, this is the previous one that I used. Obviously, these are all the Debian ones. You can also get new wallpapers within KDE Plasma, and that will show you a load of things you can download. But let's show you some of the things uh, that you could have on here. So quite a few people requested this one in the comments, which also generated with AI. And I really like the way that it's a robot with a Raspberry Pi as a chest. And if I drag this down, window snapping is obviously still there. Uh, let's just get this so I can flick through all the wallpapers and show you what there is. So, obviously that was the start one. Uh, we've got this rather nice looking wallpaper. Uh, a version of it in watercolour I quite liked. 
So these are fairly standard looking ones. These are very Raspberry Pi orientated. I can't remember what I put, something like Raspberry Pi robot sunbathing by the beach and uh, it did its work. I really like this one. I think this, just everything about it is great. It, it just is a really well created image. Um, I can't see any errors or any problems or anything like that. This one's pretty cool as well. I like the way he's looking back and sort of smiling with his arms back. And just, just really nice looking image. And this one was pretty cool as well. And it looks nice with the overlay and everything. But uh, again, if you, if you don't want it, then just delete it. Um, I put it in there because I thought it was a bit of fun. I really like this image. Uh, and that's why I added the two little bits to it and why I'm putting it as the standard one. And if you want to know more about the process, uh, so in previous videos, I've shown uh, exactly what I've done. So if we click on videos, no, if we click on playlists, there is a KDE Plasma Pi 5 playlist, and this should be in it, so I'll change that. My favorite Linux desktop, Raspberry Pi 5, KDE Plasma. So that kind of shows the whole process, because this is based on Raspberry Pi OS, uh, so it gets all the updates that Raspberry Pi OS gets. Uh, I always check that nothing is broken within KDE Plasma. So KDE, KDE Plasma is the desktop environment. So it just, in my mind, looks a lot nicer and has a lot more practical features, which I've gone through in these two other videos and shown the installation. So if you don't want to use my build, but you want to do something similar, then you can also do that with those two and this third video. And one of the reasons I thought I'd better do it is because we're now running uh, Linux 6.6 .6 LTS. So again, I wanted to see if anything was broken. Everything seems to be fine. Uh, all the audio, all the video, the Wi-Fi, everything I've tested. Uh, I can't find any issues with it. Uh, in fact, let's have a look at NeoFetch. And just see, yeah, 6.6.20. So Raspberry Pi Foundation released today a new build of the Debian-based Raspberry Pi OS with various improvements. So it uses the latest Chromium 122 and latest Firefox, better support for Raspberry Pi 5, new headless resolution configuration, more compatibility with alternative window managers. Obviously some of the graphical user interface doesn't apply to this build. So available to download now through Google Drive. Uh, write the image, you don't need to unzip it or anything. Uh, write the image with Raspberry Pi Imager and let me know what you think. Okay, so hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.